Hello and welcome to this third video in a three-part series on going from Blender to Unity. Today we'll be working on texturing our asset. So we're going to go to textures.com. I'll have a link in the description. We're going to grab this medieval metal texture. So to get the albedo, normal and roughness. We're also going to be getting this rusted metal material. So once again, grab the albedo, normal and roughness. Okay, let's jump over to Photoshop and we're going to drag in the cavity map that we created in Xmormal. Now this is going to be turned into a mask that will show where our rust is going to appear. So we're going to go Image, Adjustments, Invert, and Image, Adjustments, Exposure. Yeah, turn up the exposure just a little and turn down the offset just so that those artifacts don't show up. I think that looks good. Now we're going to create a couple of new layers which will have clouds and fibers on them, which will just add a little bit of randomness to where the rust is going to appear. So we're going to right-click on this and go Layer from Background. And we're going to go uh, Layer, New, Layer. OK. Here you get our Fill tool and just fill that in. And then go Filter, Render, and Clouds. We're going to move that below our other layer. And on our Cavity Map layer, we're going to set the Type to Overlay. So we're going to create one more layer layer new okay we're going to fill that in again we're going to go filter render and fibers and that should be okay i'm going to set the type on this to overlay as well so that's going to show where our rust is going to appear so we're going to select all these layers right click and go flatten so let's bring in our textures that we downloaded so we're going to get the medieval metal albedo and the rusted metal albedo and drag that into the same document. Okay. So get your selected tool up the top left, select everything and press Ctrl C to copy. And we're going to go back to our textures. So with our rusted metal selected, we're going to hit this icon down the bottom right. It's a rectangle with a circle within it. We're going to hit that and that creates a mask for us. So hold down Alt and click on that little white square that's appeared. And we're going to press Ctrl V to paste in the mask that we created. So now you can see the rust has appeared here over the top of our other texture. We're just going to set the type to overlay and that should look a little... Uh, no, I like it on normal. Yeah, yeah, that's fine on normal. Now we're going to do the same thing for our normal map and roughness. So I'm going to drag in my normal maps here. And I'm going to drag in my roughnesses over here. So exact same again. We're going to, with our rusted layer selected, we're going to hit that icon down the bottom right, hold down Alt, click on the square, and press Control V to paste in our mask. And same again for our roughness. We're going to hit that, hold down Alt, click that layer, and press Control V to paste in our mask. Now with our roughnesses, I believe we're going to have to invert these as Unity uses smoothness, which is the opposite. So we're going to go Image, Adjustments, Invert, and then select your other layer. We may have to rasterize this first, so if we right click and hit Rasterize, and then we go Image, Adjustments, and Invert. So there we are. Now in our normal map, we're going to have to drag in the normals that we created in XNormal. So bring those up, they should be in your Barrels Textures folder and we're going to drag that on top. We're going to move that up the very top and set the type to overlay. So that looks good. We've got our albedo, our normals, and our roughness. Now we want to take our roughness and we're going to paste this in the alpha channel of our albedo map. So we're going to start by flattening our layers. So select them all with shift, right click, and hit flatten image. Then we're going to press control C with everything selected. Move over to our albedo. Click on Channels and hit the icon down the bottom right that says New Channel. And this will be named Alpha 1. And then we just need to paste in our map there and turn everything on so it's visible again. So now we can File and Save As and we're going to save this one as a bitmap. So navigate to your Barrel Assets, Barrel Textures, Final. And we're going to call this one Barrel underscore Albedo underscore smoothness and save okay and we're going to save our normal map 
as a PNG. So we're going to save as PNG, barrel assets, barrel textures, finals, and call this barrel underscore normal, and hit save. Okay, okay. So those are our textures completed for now. We're going to jump over to Unity and create a new project. So here we are in a new project in Unity. We're going to navigate to our barrel assets folder and we're going to start by dragging in our final textures. So we're going to take the albedo smoothness and the barrel normal. We'll drag them both into assets. And then we're going to go into barrel assets and drag the low poly in as well. That should be everything we need for now. Oh, actually, no, I tell a lie. We go into barrel textures and we grab our occlusion as well. We'll be needing that too. So let's drag our low poly into the scene and click again and go down to our default material. We'll drag in our albedo we created. Set the alpha to al sorry, set the smoothness source to albedo alpha. We'll drag in our normal and hit fix to mark that as a normal map. We'll set the metallic to one. Or maybe maybe just a little less than one. Yeah, that looks about right. And we'll set the occlusion to our occlusion map. So there's our barrel set up in our scene in Unity. Looks it looks pretty good. You could always go crazy and add some more rust around the edges. Oh, I always love creating grunge in Unity. And you can use this mask technique anywhere to add that extra bit of grunge by using two different textures. So as you can see, we've done it here. We've used our um, rust texture and created a mask from our cavity map to add a bit of extra grunge around here. And it's come out very nicely. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We've covered the basic workflow going from Blender to Unity. We've created a high poly, a low poly. We've UV unwrapped, exported our objects, extracted maps, textured in Photoshop, and finally imported into Unity. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.